One thing you mentioned, King, before is that a lot of these signings and moves that the Pistons are making, a lot of it won't matter until we have a coach, right? So we finally have a coach. We have JB Bickerstaff as our coach. So now that we have our coach, how do you feel about the hiring of Bickerstaff as a coach? You feeling good about it or not so much? Absolutely. I'm feeling good about it because I sat there and watched exactly what he did with the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers were a similar team. They were a very, very young team. You know that was trying to get themselves into that winning type of mentality right right took that team and you know he got them there they didn't necessarily advance in the playoffs as far and as deep as the cavaliers organization wanted to but for a starter coach a starter coach to take young guys and get them to play you know well enough basketball in order to get themselves into a playoffs that's what we need right now let's just be honest about it. that's what we need right now whether you know he'll be the coach in the future once we do get there to take us to the next level to let's leave all of that to the future but right, right now this team needs exactly what he is so i have no problem with the hiring whatsoever i'm kind of with you on that bro i mean i think one thing that gets missed and i mentioned this in the previous video is that this is not destination a for free agents or coaches you know what i'm saying it ain't just like we talk about it often with free agents like they're not gonna sign here yada 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 but you gotta consider the same thing with coaches coaches don't want to come to a situation where it's gonna make them look bad either so that's one thing we have to keep in mind and we you know we, i talked about it. i wanted mike anori right i wanted mike anori uh timberwolves assistant who was pretty much the acting coach in the playoffs after round one pretty much that's who i wanted but like I mentioned, we don't know if he wanted to come here or not. I kind of compare it to um, Ben Johnson with the Lions, mm -hmm. right? One of the most coveted assistants that everybody wanted, right? And because he realized he was in a good situation and he felt he could still win a Super Bowl with the current situation he was in, he decided to come back. And that may have been the case for Mike Nori. He may have figured, yeah, I could go coach now. But those coaching jobs are going to be there if they're there now. And they were close to getting to the finals last year. But he may have figured, I want to get this another shot. So considering that, I'm not mad at the hiring. Because we got a guy who has a chip on his shoulder. He's defensive-minded. We saw what he did for Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. Right? That backcourt. They didn't both become all-stars until he was there. Together. Mm -hmm. So that just gives me hope for our backcourt. So I just want to see what he's able to do for this team. But I love the chip on the shoulder that he has. I love that because that matches what we have right now. Everybody's laughing at us. You know, everybody felt that Bickerstaff got fired prematurely, right? Because he took them to back-to-back -back playoffs. They advanced further this past year than they did the first year. And he may have been rubbed the wrong way. I would have been rubbed the wrong way by that. So he's going to come in with a chip on his shoulder to prove y'all shouldn't have got rid of me. Y'all going to miss me. You know, in keeping that, that, that Lions theme right now, the Pistons are doing something similar to what the Lions did. And that's bringing the coach before the GM. Right. We're going to pick the coach that we want out there with the players. And then we'll go get the, the GM that we want to acquire players. Good point. Afterwards. And that, that formula works. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because it separates the two jobs. Your job is on the floor. Your job is up here in the office with us. Right. That's the way that you do it. You know, so like I said, I ain't, I have no problem with them going to get him to be the coach, uh, you know, to raise up our young players, man. And, um, uh, you know, try to get them into that playoff contention. But um, the GM search just got that more magnified to me because, you know, you can have the coach uh, all you want to, but at the same time, that coach needs to acquire talent. Right. right now, Trajan is doing that job, but I want the GM to come in here and make some moves and bring some guys in here that's going to take us to the next level. Mm hmm yeah yeah marvin i'm with you i wish we could go and get swing to be our lead assistant but i think much like mike Nori, he figures he's in a good situation with dallas and with them just getting clay thompson he probably feels like they have a shot a more of a legit shot to get back to the finals than with all so you know that's a perfect world though that would be a, a great situation if we can get somebody like him as our assistant but i'm happy with bigger staff for sure it's for my city, and the team coming with me Headed for the championship, even if the road is long Legends pay the way for us Legends see nothing in this world can take it from us The 